All right, this one's going to be on uh, Gopher Proxy for W3M. So last time we talked about uh, Gemini Proxy, but this time we're doing Gopher Proxy, um, mainly for people that are using an old version of, you know, W3M here. So my one here, I downgraded to the 2020 version. Uh, this one you see has no Gopher support. Or if you're on like a really old version of uh, W3M, it does have gopher support, but it's all broken. So you really can't use it anyways. Uh, so I'm giving you an example here. If I try to connect to a gopher, um, you know, site here, it, it doesn't work, right? So um, this is a script to, you know, check for if the, what was that, gopher proxy is alive, then I'll connect to it, all right? So we have two proxies here. So the flood gap one is the most popular one. So, um, you know, if that one's up, then it will use that one by default. Otherwise, it'll use this other one called, what is this, Mule? Um, You know, if this first one fails, right? And it's using curl to to check if, you know, this site is alive or not before it uh, connects to it. Real simple. Uh, these are the steps to do. But really, all you got to do is, uh, what's that, the... Uh, you know, make sure your script's executable and make sure you put that into your W3M, uh, what's that, CGI bin, right? And just call it gopher, stuff like that. Really not a hard, just copy paste this into your terminal uh, one at a time and uh, you'll have your, um, you know, your scripts and everything set up for this uh, method. Anyways, that's what you gotta do for the script. Um, so let me demonstrate out here. So by default, like I said, it doesn't work when you try to connect to a gopher site. But uh, let's open this here. Let me uh, change it. Uh, the first one I do is, so in here, we do got to change this one because some of the, um, what's that older version, they have gopher support, but it's all broken, like I said. So we got to enable this one here. And the other one was, what, was that? what did we do? It was in the site config, there you go. So this one's in your uh, W3M site config, all right? But we're gonna enable um, these two lines for a substitution. And now when we run, um, what are we gonna run? We can run that again here, this command um, to connect to this gopher site here. And it'll work now, right? And you see that it's connecting to a uh, flood gap. Uh, let me show you the um, URL here. So basically, this is the URL, right? It has a flood gap, blah, blah, blah. And I'll redirect the, what is it, the, um, this uh, Hacker News mirror that they got. And from here, you can browse any other, um, you know, um, URL for your gopher. So let me give you an example. We'll open another one here, gopher, gopher lawn. All right. Bus out go for lawn. All right. Uh, what else we got? We got uh, the pirate bay. But this one's the gopher bay. All right. Anyways, you get the idea. That's how you would you still use gopher over HTTP using a web proxy, even if you don't have support for it. And that's what I like about, uh, you know, W3M. You can do like proxies or they have a bunch of proxies online, but uh, W3M, you know, it might not have support for it or it's broken or something like that. Uh, we can still utilize proxies um, that they got already. And, you know, we did that one for Gemini and this one is um, for Gopher. I mean, Gopher, ha you know, they do have um, native support for W3M now, but uh, for people that are still using an old version, you can still have access to good old gopher, uh, you know, using this method, right? Anyways, uh, script will be in the description. And as far as, like I said, um, all you gotta do is go one by one, just paste in your terminal and um, you should have it set up. Anyways, that's it for this one.